always think there is no difference between writing fiction for children or for grown-ups. I love to write for all ages. And uh, the best thing I hear is when people say, our family reads your books in four generations. So I think as a writer, you shouldn't ask yourself that. If you write a picture book, try to keep the language a little bit more simple. But you want the parents who read the picture book aloud also to have some fun. So in a way, as a storyteller, I think you should always think of all ages. I think it's the oldest genre in the world. Look at your myths, look at folk tales. I think we're just remembering now that you can, in a way, express reality far better with fantasy. Even Could you... the Game of Thrones is the War of the Roses. It's, it's, it's always an interpretation of our reality. I always think it's a misunderstanding that writers think it comes from inside. It has to come from outside. So I believe a storyteller has to find words for the world. So I try to include and to feed my stories with the, our world and our reality. So I do a lot of research on history, on myths, on folk tales, on places. I try to learn as much as I can about people in the world. And I think it's my responsibility to not give a false image of the world when I write fantasy. I think fairy tales are such an interesting time machine. They take us back to, to really forgotten times. They take us back to a time when a man was still very dependent on nature. It can teach us respect again for nature, vastly important nowadays. It can also make us understand human beings and our, our oldest fears of the dark, of the wild, of hunger, uh, of rulers. Who, who treat us, uh, who treat their peasants not well. Uh, I think it makes us, under, they, they make us encounter forgotten gods, forgotten landscapes. And I think they just make us understand our species much better. And I try to, when I come to a country, always read a few fairy tales first, because I have the feeling that I understand the people through their tales. And often fairy tales are very reactionary, very traditional. Um, so you have to question them as a modern writer. Uh, but that is also a very interesting task. Uh, they are very bland in talking about human nature, about our vices. They talk about our greed. It's all about gold and winning the princess. The goals are often not very noble. And I think that also shows um, us in an unveiled way. Well, I, I told the one at my speech that I found a story where a king is punished by, punished by Indra because he sacrificed to the god of fire and he's turned into a woman. And uh, he says to his 100 sons, I have to go into the desert to find a hermit, to become a hermit, uh, because now I'm a woman. And he goes and instead falls in love with a hermit and has another 100 sons, which Indra is very angry about. And he says, this is not my punishment. My punishment is so suddenly a present. So I will kill a hundred of your sons. Which ones do you want me to kill? The ones you had as a son, father or the ones you had as a mother? And the king says, please don't kill the ones I had as a mother because I loved them in different ways. I love that. It was a very surprising story. <laughs>